Minecraft has a lot of mobs, like <laughs> a lot of mobs. But the crazy thing is that this isn't even all of them. You remember the giant? This is a mob that still exists in the game, but doesn't spawn naturally anywhere and doesn't have any AI. The same goes for this guy, the illusioner. They exist and they have some great code and behavior, but they don't spawn anywhere. What's up with that? I don't think we should be allowing this. I can stand it no longer. Thankfully, we have a solution. Bam, retextured illusioner. <laughs> Here's our buddy naturally spawning in his quaint little cabin in the woods. This version of the illusioner can spawn in both the mountains and in the taigas of the world. Oh yeah, you like that refreshed mountain biome? Well, that's not all that's improved here. This is Origin Realms, and everything you're seeing is done in vanilla Minecraft with server plugins and a resource pack. And guess what that means? No pesky mods to download. You can join for free today with the IP on screen or with the link in the description. The only thing you might not get is the giant, but Meh. So let's start with a beloved mob that we were all very sad to lose. The Mooblu. This beautiful flower cow spawns in flower forests and they're just so vibrant. These butterflies really help too. It's just so pretty out here. These Mooblooms are really special because you can actually take a flower and change the color of your Mooblu. So let's say I don't like the color of this yellow one. I can just grab a blue flower and change the color. The best part about these guys is that as they walk, they leave a nice little trail of flowers behind them. And yes, this means you can use them in a farm to get as much dye as your heart desires. And then if these vibrant colors are just too much for you, the flower can be sheared off and they'll become just a regular old cow. So brown. Side note, a wither rose cow doesn't exist. It probably would have been too emo anyways. This guy is anything but sad. Or I guess he, he doesn't really show his emotions at all, so. Oh wait, look, he's angry. So maybe he's just not sad when he's not Angry? I have absolutely no idea. But hey, regardless of how happy this bush is, this is the glare. You can find them in lush caves and they make a fabulous companion. Once tamed with glow berries, you can bring them along with you to find dark and scary spots around your base. They don't really do much other than that, but hey, neither does a parrot, so I think it's still a pretty nice pet. He's also not very fast, but hey, bone meal makes him look pretty. If you wanna be just as pretty as this little glare boy, you should become a member. Hit the little join button down next to the subscribe button and you'll get a nice little Nerf logo next to your name. Also, you'll get a cool rank on my Minecraft server and work with me to fight against all the viewers. We've been doing some really cool PvP sessions recently and I think you would really enjoy it. So become a member today to have even more fun during the next event. Anyways, back to the glare. Sadly, or not so sadly, depending on who you are, the glare lost to the alley, but we already know about you, you're boring. <laughs> what we really wanna talk about is the copper Love that. This little guy can be summoned in with just a copper block, a lightning rod, and a wooden button because <laughs> copper buttons were just too easy. Once they've spawned, they'll slowly oxidize over time until they're frozen as a statue. But hey, not to worry, you can actually wax them with honeycomb and you won't have to worry about it. Also, they love pushing wooden buttons any chance they get, which means they can actually summon in more of their own friends. So your copper golem army will just slowly multiply over time if you let them. <laughs> What about the Moobloom's vote buddy that lost? Oh yeah, the Isolager? Well, I actually made a full video about him that you can go check out with the little eye card in the top right. But don't go yet, I've got one more thing to show you. Wanna see a mob that was really forgotten? If you do, you should subscribe. You totally can't watch the rest of the video if you're not, so you better get subscribed before the video totally stops on you, cause that's definitely how YouTube works. All right, let's search the archives of your brain. Think all the way back to the first ever mob vote. That's right, 2017, the year the Phantom won the mob vote. The mob we forgot about was Mob C, the second place winner of the vote. They called it the Great Hunger, and it definitely had the mouth to warrant it. This cute looking mob has a huge mouth. So Origin Realms took the liberty of reworking it a tad and giving it a better name. This is the Gullet. It spawns in the dark and scary parts of the world as well as sometimes in the nether. It'll randomly start making some noises and then pop out of the ground to either eat your toes or go after the shiny ores in your area. And oh boy, does this guy love ores. In fact, the gullet has a fortune four effect on ores. So when he's done chomping away, you can smack him to get some nice extra free materials. If you don't want to kill him, snowballs are a great way to go. These little dudes are pretty hungry boys. So you'll want to feed them as much as you can to take advantage of that fortune four effect. Just remember, if he doesn't have any ores to eat, your legs look like a nice extra treat. I absolutely love these forgotten mobs. Having all of them here to play with is fantastic. And look, even the fireflies are here. <laughs> no, they're not. This is just a mod.